y en tu aviento va durmiendo el sol un guiño de luz se perdió tu cuerpo se hace vientre estatua transparente en la arena oscura esperará two seconds in like the music is beautiful <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, if you just have like a girl with a pretty voice singing in a foreign language, I'm pretty much sold. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that. I like pretty girls singing. <laughs> Alright. Seems like I can't move the camera. I actually just got hmm. into the second world here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's totally, totally new to me. So this is Journey. Came out in 2008. <laughs> um, looks a little bit different. They updated it throughout the years. <laughs> it's funny because I was getting it. I was totally getting a Journey kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is Rhyme. Hey everyone, welcome to the Quick Shot with me and Lo. Hey everybody. I was gonna do a joke and be like. Do you like yelling at things in games, though? <laughs> and then you were probably going to say yes. And I was going to say, this is the game for you. <laughs> but we're in a weird part of the game right now. Can't get on the boat. There we go. All right. I don't know if we're going to keep that intro in or not. Yes. <laughs> All right. Huh. Yeah, so Rhyme is like, uh, it's a puzzle platformer. There's a lot of puzzles. You yell at things and things activate. It's pretty much how the puzzles go. Interesting. But you can tell that, like, just looking at... Th this is, like, the second stage of the game. Mm -hmm. The first stage, you have to work out your way up to um, the big tower that's on the cover of the game. Oh, okay. And then, and then once you're in there, there's a bunch of sections that you can see where to go to next. Mm -hmm. So it's separated by levels. Uh, yeah. It's incredibly beautiful. As you could tell. Yeah, I'm loving uh, the styling of everything. Yeah, what would you say the inspiration is? Because I said on the podcast earlier, it's kind of like Wind Waker and Journey had a baby. I'd, I think I said that. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that. I'm definitely getting like a Wind Waker kind of vibe just because it's cell shaded and then Journey. Like just really just because like the cloth effects. <laughs> and then and it's like the landscapes and the vibrant colors. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. Kind of like a witness thing as well as you could... Earlier on in the game, they had a lot of those, like, ruins that you would see in The Witness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got some good lighting effects. You can tell here. Lighting is coming in. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's not really too much of a story in this game uh, so far, but I think we're getting there now. Those statues look very forlorn. One of my worst fears is uh, becoming a statue. Really? <laughs> or like turning turning into a different type of thing. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I've read a comic book once. I think it was the Green Lantern one where this person had the ability to change people into other things. So oh. you turn one person and just to, into salt. No. So like ever since then, I've had a fear of that kind of thing. <laughs> that sounds kind of awful. It's a weird fear to have. But uh, it creeps me out when I think about it. I think it'd be even worse if you were like sentient salt and then like someone just like took you and like poured you over some like fried or something. It's like, no, my body! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be painful. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, platforming, like I said. Uh, you can see here when I platformed up there, it had the white outline mm -hmm. so you know where to jump. There's a lot of uh, collectibles in this game, too. I don't know if I'll find any during this quick shot, but... Uh, Good old collectibles. A lot of collectibles. Yep, a lot of collectibles. You shout at them, and then they go into your inventory. <laughs> nice. I wish that happened with money. Get in my wallet! <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a dedicated button for humming, too, by the way. Really? Huh. Yep. It's the shout button, but when you there's nothing to shout at... Uh, he just hums to himself. Hmm.
Yeah, it's it's a lot spookier now. But before it wasn't yeah, this spooky. It was kind of. I would not enjoy being in a cave like this. Mm. Okay, so this is our first puzzle. Let's see if uh, we can go this way instead. Oh, uh, there's different things that you can shout at. There's like statues and fire. Mm -hmm. You can shout at fire and it'll start to ignite more. Hmm. Uh, I've got this buddy fox of mine. I He was he was stoned before, but then I released him from his stone uh, statue. Huh. Interesting. Now he's, now he's uh, following, showing me around. This uh, puzzle here is kind of a new puzzle. Uh, oh. I don't know what he wants me to do here, but what this thing here does, it controls the, the day of the time. Oh, what? Or the time of day. That's pretty neat. Some kind of dinosaur or something? What the... Yeah, um, earlier on in the game, there's a bunch of eggs, and I was just stomping through eggs, uh, because I was a jerk. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> oh, he took there's the really nothing ball. much more. There's really, like, there was nothing, there's no point to it. I was just stomping on eggs for the fun of it, and <laughs> I guess he got mad. <laughs> so you did this to yourself, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Nice. I love it when games do scaling like this. Mm, mm -hmm. Like if you can just like climb up somewhere real high and like look down and see it, all the things that you can do. Yeah. He was pretty pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> so let me near. This is all automatically happening. Oh, okay. Cutscene. And I guess my goal is to get back up there. All right. Different structures here. Oh shit! Okay, oh, so here's a stuff. here's a new element. Here's a new element to the game. Uh, I have to hide under these things, and if I stay out too long, this thing is gonna get me. Oh! I don't know if you can see it, but there's like edges around the screen. It starts getting yeah, more yeah. red. Yeah. It's not really a run button either. Hmm. You you just kind of go. For a second, I uh, thought yeah, you were getting sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> now they just smear on that uh, Call of Duty jelly. <laughs> All right, let's head in there. Let's head into that shadow. As you, as you know, shadow is is our friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a lot of uh, battlegrounds. All right. So I think we need a key for this one because mm. it's usually the symbol for the key. I like how he just shrugs. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Some lizards on the wall there. There's also a lot of, um, at least in the first area, there was a lot of uh, perspective puzzles. Mm -hmm. So a lot of like lining your eyesight up with other things and having them become gateways or keys. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see if there's anything down here. We can go in here. All right. No, nope, doesn't look like there's <laughs> this is mm. anything. Oh well. There's green fire. <laughs> yeah, green fire. I wonder if I can yell at it. Oh. Yep. Just lit it. Uh, make this place lit. There we go. That's better. There's also a roll. I don't know what that does. It hasn't done anything yet so far mm. from what I know. There's another area to the right over here. That, um, I want to check out. Is there anything you wanted to know about this? Uh, did you hear of this game before I mentioned it honestly the only th I heard I just heard the name of it before and then I saw like maybe like a minute of oh, no. 
gameplay, and I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. So I really don't know too much about it at all. I believe it's been in the works for a while. Oh, yeah? Um, I think a couple of people have picked it up and let it go over the over the, the years. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's always hard to do a puzzle game for a video, as you and I are well aware. Yeah. <laughs> I do like my puzzle games, though. Alright, let's uh, get out of here and go somewhere else. Oh man, I'm <laughs> I'm just afraid of uh, this this dinosaur to kill me. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't want to be here anymore. Let's go down there. Oh, there Let's see go. if we can make it. Run. Seems kind of far. Seems kind of far. I can do it. I wonder oh, if I'm I safe can see here. A shadow. Holy crap. No, I'm super not safe no. there. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the shadows, though. Yeah, it's. I guess it has there. to be. You have to be, like, covered or something. Yeah. I think we have enough time, though. Go. You could make it. Uh, just run, dude. Oh, almost. All right, so I don't think we can make that. Seems a bit far. I, uh, this is one thing I don't like. I wish the indicator was a little bit better, but uh, maybe they're trying to invoke that... Uh, feeling of unsafeness. Mm -hmm. oh, man. I'm so doomed. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, a lizard. Yeah, it's, it's too bad I can't eat it. I know, right? <laughs> or use it for a distraction. <laughs> Every time you see a lizard in a game, you think you can eat it or kill it and get a, something out of it. Mm. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is where I was before. Oh, dang. Okay. There's got to be something else around here. Yeah, it seems like this might be a, a bit longer than uh, you initially think. Mm -hmm. You think any puzzle game, how long could that be? Right. <laughs> it seems like there's a few worlds to it. Yeah. And this is new, so like maybe the other worlds will have their own different gimmicks. Yeah. Oh, fox buddy. Yeah, I should have just followed the fox. That's another thing. Uh... The fox usually tells you where to go. Ah. Uh. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, shiny. I see what you I mean by the lighting they effects. They're like really good. <laughs> I like them. Hmm. I don't know what <laughs> to do with that. Oh, okay. It's moving the the wall. Aha! I don't know if you yeah see that. Yeah. Puzzles have been pretty straightforward uh, before, but uh, now it's a, now it's making you work for it. <laughs> see, you usually yell at these things. Oh. And they don't unlock doors. Nice. Whoa. Okay, let me go and get the key first. <laughs> so we need to use light. So the windmill brings a storm and the lightning chases off the bird. Hmm. That's what we need to do here. Yeah, and there's like, there's, like I said, there's no one telling you a story. There's no like hand holding this mm -hmm. to it too much. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, this might be for you. I definitely if am. You, <laughs> 
if you need uh, some kind of guidance, then uh, good luck. <laughs> Best of luck. There's to not you. much. There's not much guidance other than the fox. All right, so we should go over here and uh, put the key in. Put the key in the hole. So that's the windmill, I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. Or oh, there's two windmills. So you gotta, gotta like turbocharge it or something. <laughs> probably have to activate both of them. Mm. Uh, Run. I hold down the shift key. I know it doesn't make me go faster. <laughs> it's but just like a reflex. <laughs> yeah. So you just make some roll, and then he plods around. <laughs> uh, the movement is a little bit weird. It's a little bit stiff, mm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like it doesn't feel like as naturally fluid the way you control something like a journey does. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more stiff if I want to. If I want to stop and then go back the other way, he has to. I don't. Know, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but you know the feeling when you get when you feel it. Like it's not as um, fluid. The animations. Yeah, I think they might have patched it a bit better now because hmm. before it was it took like half a second for him to like stop and turn around oh really but now it's it's feeling a bit better hmm. i'm using a mouse and keyboard by the way have you tried it with the gamepad i have not all right yeah i was just wondering oh let me let me see if i can switch on the fly because i don't know if they have that i'm not sure yeah not all games have uh Gamepad all right, support it does. Inherently. Oh, nice. Now I have to, now I have to relearn the controls. <laughs> all right, there <laughs> we go. Oh, man. Run, 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 run. Get it. There we go. Yeah, it's also out on the, the PlayStation 4. So you've got one of those. Oh, cool. an interesting contraption. Yes. So the sun's revolving around the earth. It's a little too close to the earth. <laughs> oh no. I think I have to make it here. No, stop messing around. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. No! Why does it do that? Hmm. Oh, what the? Oh, look at that. I know this has to do with, like, constellations. Oh, so are you trying to... I think maybe you're trying to make an eclipse of some sort. I wonder... So you got the sun and the moon. Oh, and it changes. Okay. This has to be here, but it has to be there permanently. That, uh, okay. So if I stand in front of this, oh, it makes it go down. Hmm. So... And then what if I stand in front of this? Will I make it... Aha! There we go. Look at that. I like that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That took a little uh, brain work to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, because you're not just... you you are got so many things on your mind. You're rotating the guy that's mm -hmm. spinning the earth. And then you're also, like, standing in front of the different symbols. Yeah, yeah. To block out the, the sun or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. I forgot that <laughs> forgot this guy is that. still here. I forgot about that jerk. Yeah. That jerk. Okay. That's probably... Uh, uh, no, that's probably not timed. 
What if I stand under, under here? I should be safe. You can't get me under here, right? I hope not. Oh, whoa. I don't know what the hell this is. This is this is lost all of a sudden. Yeah, right? Big smoke monster. <laughs> I just lit out the smoke monster. That was such a weird show. Did you um ever finish Lost? No. After a while, I was just like, yeah, I don't even care. <laughs> just, did, you, did you hear what happened though with it? What what it was? Weren't they like all dead or something like that? Yeah, it was like purgatory or something. Oh. Hmm. Atone for your sins. Interesting. Which, by the way, lost spoilers if you care. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> At least it doesn't start you over from the beginning. Yeah, that's good. That would suck. Ugh. Especially if it's like a, it's a puzzle game. I know, right? Because you've already figured out the solutions. Why would you make them start over again? <laughs> okay. I think I have to make this thing stop spinning somehow. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably keep up with it. Seems uh, interesting enough, and I kind of want to see what else there is. Yeah. With this. Although right now it's on it's on sale for, well, it's not on sale, but it's selling for forty dollars of uh, Canadian. Oh wow. Which I think it's a bit much, personally. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've been talking with Justin. Um, today about like the price of indie games versus budget titles mm -hmm. so that might be a, a show topic later on yeah do you know is this um from a major publisher or is this just full full on is this like a straight up indie game uh i'm not sure could you look that up yeah because i think now. i think like I, heard, I think i heard sony was publishing it at one point and then they have um uh, they have physical copies, so that's probably why it's more expensive. Mm, it says the publisher is Gray Box Games. I'm not sure. Tequila Works is the um, developers, oh, which okay. I think they're in they're an indie studio. I can't remember what else they've done. Hmm. Yeah, I just had to jump over here. Oh come on, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, he just picked me up. But yeah, I was gonna. The reason I asked is I was just gonna say, I feel like usually, like if an indie game gets picked up by like a major publisher, that's generally like a usually the reason like why the price goes up. Yeah, that's true. I went to the Graybox website though, and I only saw like three games. Only one of them I'd ever heard of before was Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Yeah, it's like a space kind of strategy combat sort of game. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen that uh, floating around before. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm not, not a fan of uh, <laughs> of this thing just keeping, <laughs> uh, just keep grabbing me. <laughs> trying to figure out what to do here. I wonder if the people <laughs> turned into salt because they couldn't figure out these puzzles and got salty. Oh, <laughs> snap. Uh, mm. We need that one to go down. But Oh, here oh, we go. This is, there we go. I got to pull out the smoke monster on the other side. Aha. And the way the game begins is that you... Oh, there we oh. go. Oh, wow. Maybe maybe you learn your lesson. <laughs> Get out of here, don't pick, you bum. <laughs> don't pick me up anymore. <laughs> yeah, stay there. That's what I thought. Yeah, but the way the game begins is that uh, you just wash up on the beach, and that's it. That's it, huh? Yep, you're just on the beach, and then you wake up, and you 
just start solving puzzles, <laughs> walking around. I kind of like that about some puzzle games because like, al- it's almost <laughs> like the story itself is a puzzle. Yeah, it makes it more mysterious, right? Yeah, yeah. Like with The Witness, that's all that was. It's, a, it's an island filled with puzzles. Yeah, and then you just start off in like a hallway. <laughs> and I'm like, where? And you're like, <laughs> how did I end up here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing um, that was happening earlier is that sometimes the game likes to take the perspective and like start doing pan shots around these kind of things like mm. uh, when you're crossing a bridge. And on the, on the keyboard... I don't know if you realize this, but there's no analog control. Right, right. <laughs> so you're just walking in one direction. Uh. And, <laughs> and so, like, you're kind of walking off off of the the bridge. <laughs> that's that's not very uh, efficient. I wonder if yeah. it was, like, they made it. I wonder if they, like, developed this with consoles in mind and, like, analog controls or at least, like, a game pad or something. I yeah. don't know, though. All right, cool. He's uh, not bothering me anymore. Good. <laughs> I'm going to call that Salty Bird. <laughs> Although now there's these weird oh, dudes. Oh, what? Oh, creepy. That's weird. He didn't even try to attack me. He just anything. like he looked. Just, he's like, ee, and then he left. He just looked at me <laughs> and then disappeared. Maybe they're not Maybe enemies. They're, I think they're scared of me, man. Oh, interesting. Maybe you're the bad guy. <laughs> That's weird. Although they sound evil, they're just hissing at me. Interesting. That's weird. Very interesting. See, it does this. It does this kind of stuff. It's mm. just like I don't like. You that. want to figure her out? What's going on? All right, Foxy. <laughs> I'm very creative with names. Foxy. <laughs> I would have named him Guy Fox. <laughs> oh, I see what you did. Yeah. All right. I think I'm just going to scale this thing. And then we'll call it. This is more you want to see. I don't know where to go, though. Oh, probably just jump. No. Jump across, maybe? maybe? Jump? Yeah, yeah, there, there we go. go. Sometimes my eyes don't work. <laughs> Head on down here. And I don't think you take fall damage. At least not. Like, he'll stop himself from jumping off of things sometimes. Mm-hmm. But whenever I jump and take a large fall, he doesn't really get hurt. I don't like fall damage and in platformers ever. I feel like it's lame. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you on that. So, yeah, here's um, the collectible stuff I was talking about before. Uh-huh. Uh, here's... The different outfits in here, uh, different toys. Mm-hmm. You can see I got a toy fox. There's a couple others that you could probably make out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you can rotate the fox. Oh, nice. Uh, wait. Sorry, I'm going crazy with these menus. I don't. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. My, my, maybe my gamepad is broken, but uh, <laughs> it wouldn't let me go past the toys, or maybe that's a glitch. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it was getting um, confused different... from the inputs. It could be. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. Who knows? It's a pros- possibility. Uh, so yeah, there's different emblem stuff that you can yell at. I got two pieces of one. Hmm. Lullabies, which I haven't got yet, but it's probably like songs. Awesome. awesome. Uh, keyholes and galleries. Oh, pretty. Which I, I don't know if this is just in this game. Or what? Like, I don't I don't remember unlocking these. Hmm. Yeah, this looks... Like, I love looking at concept art and stuff like that. In these. Yeah. I love, like, the... It looks like it was done in watercolor or something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it does look like that. I love watercolor. I'm just horrible at it. <laughs> And that's the island that you wash up on. Oh, that looks like a good wallpaper. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, there's another good one. Underwater. Ooh. 
probably swim with some fishes. So maybe these unlock while um, you go through the different levels. Yeah. Because it looks like it is. Like, this is kind of like, I guess, where I am now is water. Mm hmm Maybe that's going to be coming up soon. All right. I'm back to uh, the keyboard. Mouse. Ah. And I think uh, we're going to end it here. So what do you think of uh, Rhyme so far? I'm loving the way it looks, for sure. And yeah. I just feel like with um, with puzzle games, especially like stuff like The Witness and now this, like I feel like they're almost more like art projects in a way, just because like The Witness is just so pretty to look at, you know. And even though yeah, I th I think games like that, like The Witness and um, now Rhyme and previously like Journey. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, like those those last two, Journey and The Witness, have really like elevated the the genre in a sense because it's not just like about doing puzzles; it's about exploration in a sense. Yeah, yeah. And about like the art and the beauty of um like of these games as well. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes I don't, I don't know about you, but some games like I'll just like be trying to get from A to B, and like games like this and The Witness, it like kind of makes you stop and just take a look around the world, you know. Yeah. I like it though. All right. I think that's uh that's it for Rhyme. Please check out uh chargeshot.com for more videos and podcasts and other things you may enjoy. Till then guys, enjoy your games. See you guys.